people can make graphene energies, but the, they can only make like a, a cylinder or cubic. It's based on the mold. So it's really hard to manipulate. We filled several times. <laughs> we use inkjet printing method. So it means we can print like a dedicated structures. So first we mix the graphene oxide together with like a dye water. And then we load onto the 3D, print, 3D printer. We use inkjet printing method to uh, eject a uh, job lead one by one. It's froze, froze into ice. And then we finally achieved a 3D printed ice structure. And once we have the 3D printed ice structure, we uh, move it into a freeze dryer. So the freeze dryer works under low temperature, low vacuum. So under this substance, we can remove ice. Once we remove the ice, we have 3D printed graphene oxide structure. So graphene, and then we use thermal reduction method to reduce the uh, graphene oxide to graphene structures. Finally, we got a 3D graphene structure with like a, with ultra high compressibility and also very good con uh, electric conductivity. Yeah, we have been working on this one since uh, June 2015, so it's almost two years. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this, and uh, I, I can tell my parents we achieved one record. So yeah, that's, that's, that's exciting.